the original Fright Night film is actually one of the movies that caused me to hate movies so much that I, um, or hate movies by men so much that I did A Year With Women. If you recall, 2015, I only watched films directed by women for an entire year. And part of that was because I hated Fright Night so goddamn much. So much. And of all the video reviews that I have done, other than maybe the one I did for Elle where I had to turn the comments off, I have never gotten so many angry men trying to tell me that I my opinions like ruined their lives than on my video review of Fright Night. Go read those comments. It's fun. Um, so <laughs> I avoided the um, remake. I didn't see it when it was in theaters because I was poor and in grad school and had to be really choosy. And uh, Colin Farrell was not enough to make me see that movie. And um, then I saw the original Fright Night, and then I was like, oh, I'm not going to see this remake. <sighs> and then um, I'm trying to watch all Colin Farrell's movies. So I thought, let's give it a shot, you know, right? Colin Farrell, he's really attractive. Now, he is really attractive in this movie. And he does a slightly better job of making me okay with how awful the character is than Chris Sarandon did. But I still, I hate the character. I hate the tone of this film. This film was written by a woman and still is regressive and awful in the way it treats its women characters. It um, still has these characters, these male characters, all of them, every single male character that shows up in this movie is one form or another of a sexist asshole. And yet no one seems to notice, no one seems to care no one seems to, I can't even tell if the film is trying to comment on the fact that all men are terrible or if it's just showing terrible men for the sake of showing terrible men or that's just how men are, I don't know. Um, that's how this movie is. It's like, I've seen many <laughs> film versions of Faust and I hate every single version of Faust and I feel like Fright Night is my, is Faust. It, not that the, the plots are similar, but like I'm going to always hate every iteration of it. Um, <laughs> I've, I'm not watching any other versions of Faust ever again. So if they decide to do another version of Fright Night, I will just not see it. Um, I just don't understand. It doesn't even need, like, the, I don't, I mean, nothing needs to have sexism to make the point. Um, unless you're, you know, taking it and trying to turn it on its head, which it doesn't do. Um, so I don't understand the, why it needs to be this way. I don't understand why the female characters need to be treat, treated that way. I don't understand why the male characters have to be like that. I don't understand. I just don't get it. So um, I'm not even explaining the plot. Sorry. The plot of this movie, much like the 1985 version, is that a teenager thinks his neighbor is a vampire. Spoiler alert. The neighbor is a vampire and he has to kill him. That's the plot. Um, Colin Farrell is great. I love Anton Yelchin, but like this character, his character is such an asshole that I like just wanted to punch him in the face the whole time and almost wished everyone got eaten by the vampire because, you know, at least he had a reason for being a jerk. He was a vampire. Um, and all it really did was make me wish that Colin Farrell did like a sexy Dracula movie a la the Franklin Jella version, um, which is the sexiest Dracula movie. And um, instead of this, this crap, uh, but ugh, I just... That's all I'm going to say. I'm sort of done. I don't want to talk about this movie. I don't want to ever watch this movie again. I don't ever want to watch the other Fright Night again. I don't understand why movies have to be sexist like this. And it just it just makes me upset. And maybe um, Marty Noxon wrote something that was less regressive and it got fucked up in the translation from script to screen. I don't know. Uh, all I know is that I felt just as uncomfortable watching this movie as I did watching the original. Except um, the, for tiny moments where I thought that the girlfriend character was going to get to exert herself a little bit more. Um, and then she didn't. And I was like, y y you teased it. And then you let her just be as awful. And um, one note as the, as the girlfriend character in the original. And I'm like, this is 20, this was 2011. They can do better. We deserve better movies. Anyways, um, our, earlier today I tweeted a list of some of my favorite uh, horror movies directed by women, and they have much better female characters in them, so watch those movies instead. Um, or, you know, you can watch American Psycho, which is like 
a wonderful twist on shitty men. Um, thank you, Mary Heron. So anyways, who directed this movie? I don't know. Um, shit, I just closed the tab. I'm just so perplexed. Craig, Craig Gillespie directed this. I, I don't know. He's got that new Tonya Hardy movie coming out too, which I feel like, why would we turn that into a comedy? <sighs> Everything about life is awful. That's how I feel right now. I'm going to go listen to some music and try to get myself in a better mood. But I didn't like this movie. I didn't like the original one. I think this is just a terrible story and they need to stop making them to movies. End.